Welcome to our farm, a little bit of our everyday in a not so everyday life. It's a new week here and we've been away and come home and everything's good. Excuse my driving here for a minute. Phil's in the um, truck there. He's going to uh, take that round to the air cedar. He's been sowing barley this morning. Um, he's been desperate to get this paddock finished and it looks like we're going to get some rain. No, it looks like he's got it. We've had to, every time we have to get this truck started from cold, we've got to um, pump the, pump it really well and yeah, take some getting going, but she's a handy old truck. tick. going to get the we've got lambs going to sale so I'm just going to set up the yard so that we can get them in this afternoon oh muddy oh. I need them to go in the gate that we want them to go so I'll shut that one make sure this one's open open way and keep on going right and the chuckle load here so what we'll do is we'll bring them up all the way up here we'll have those gates opened I think we'll get them all into this pen, although maybe, I always doubt myself, might just open this one. Can you open that one as well? Yep. Oh. Okay, so yeah, so that'll give them those two pens and wait for the truck. Oh, so I've just decided I'll just tell you what's happening with the window closed in the U because he's got all the machines running so it's quite noisy out there. Basically the air cedar um, needed filling up with super and barley seeds so he's done the super as you can as you've seen before 
He's now just, we've been across to the shed and he's picked up the barley, which are in these bulker bags. I might just go and help him put them on, actually. Righto, we're on. Are you gonna get out? Are you gonna get out? We've done your job. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Just getting some lambs in for the uh, trucks coming soon. I think Lunch. it's lunchtime. Hey everybody, the last time you saw us it was Monday and all of a sudden it's Friday and there's been a stack of work on but we thought we'd just give you an update on what in particular Phil and Emily have been doing. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've had, uh, what do we have? 15? Of around, oh, I think, yeah. nearly an inch because you had eight and then 15. Yeah, of rain and as you knew that we had lambs in the feedlot and from the rain it's a bit muddy basically it's a slop hole <laughs> so and it stinks a... we're going to show you we'll turn the camera around so yes that's the um that was scraped out to see the pile there i scraped it out last thursday before we went to wollongong and then we got rain again this week and it's just back to it's a slop the mess and then we'll turn oh, around to the... to clean that one yet uh, oh i actually just have seen oh <laughs> that's <laughs> disgusting <laughs> so we've pulled the lambs out for a few days until it dries out and we're just gonna no back pen's fine black range that's gonna be sold so they're fine in there that's that pen's actually because it's a little a tad higher up and it's bigger and it's bigger it's drained really a lot better so they're not they're not sopping around in the wet and there's not as many in there as what there was in these others but anyway so that there was just a uh lost cause basically yeah <laughs> So we're going to let them dry out for a few days. We're going to shift the feeders out in the paddock uh, where the lambs are. We've got some lambs down there on crop kyolite. It's not quite good enough, but anyway, I had to put them somewhere um, until it dries out. And then, yeah, we'll put the feeders out there with them and keep them full so that they're still eating the grain while pellets. And then when it dries out, I'll get to clean it up properly. Yeah, as long as it doesn't rain again, we'll put them back in and lock them back up. Um, yeah, so that's what we're up to today. That's what we're doing. Yep. We, we weighed yesterday, me and Emily, and slopped around in some mud over there. But anyway, they're considering the conditions. They, uh, they're they doing quite they're well. They're still putting weight on. <laughs> We're just, this is a welfare thing really for them. We don't want them slipping and sliding around and it's, they're not comfortable to yeah. get to the it's feeders. Only it's only oh, an inch. It's an inch of, of, mu of mud. It's mud. Well, it's poo and mud. Yes, and it's just not, I'll take and show you a bit closer. It's not nice. And so it'll dry out in a few days and it, we can use the pens again. But for now we, we want to do the right thing by them. And by us, because if we have to go in there, it's dangerous. It's slippery, and um, yeah. But that those piles, the good thing about those piles is that uh, we'll put it in a pot, in a pile, and get it out and stack it somewhere, and then later on we'll spread it out in the paddocks. Yeah, we're looking at looking at um, things like fertilize. manure spreaders and things that we can utilize. The um, what do you call it? Well, the waste. Crap. 
to poop. <laughs> and put it out in the paddock, so that's right. I'll turn the camera back around, give you a good close look at these pens and you'll understand. There's our pile, and you can just see, Phil did a great job, but it's so wet and sloppy. It's like and wet concrete. It is like wet concrete, actually. And you can just see it's a sloppy, and there's where he's cleaned out in front of all the feeders. Yeah, and it's... Yeah, we'll clean all that out. But it's got to dry out. Um, for them and you can see over here this is the excess moisture that's coming out of the ground it's um just wet and this is only after about an inch of rain over a few days like this wasn't even one event this was just over a few days but you know we were so wet last year that it's not taking much to wet the ground is it well it, it's um yeah no like from that bit of rain that we've had it basically we got full moisture profile again considering you actually were waiting for some rain to finish putting some barley in and now yeah it's oh, i was i saved that late into the night to get it in before the rain and it's just been perfect the the uh, amount of rain that we've had on top of it so we can go over and okay. we'll probably, you might be able to see the... Oh, over here? Yeah, you might be able to see it germ starting to germinate. All right, we'll go and have a look at the barley crop. So the um, feedlot, which is quite close to our house, the house is just behind those trees over there, hasn't bothered me as far as smell goes. Bill's is coming up behind me. But it stinks at the moment. It's pretty putrid. So it'd be nice to have it dry out because it's just better for everyone. Yeah, and I'll put it around. Um, yeah, we've had a, a pig here wandering around. We've never, ever, ever had pigs this close to home. We've had a mountain up on the other place. But yeah, he's been digging up. He's pretty bold, considering our dogs are. Well, you can hear them bark. You can hear them bark. Yeah. <laughs> They're just. So just getting the feeders in the paddocks. We'll go and get another one. Okay. So we'll be moving sheep feeders and they're very muddy and very slippery. And that is my excuse because <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> one fell off me. I just turned the corner to come into the gate and it slipped off. There's no hiding that. <laughs> he has seen it. He's told me to wait here. I'm too frightened to move the ute. Well, I've just got to come off. It's just balancing there on its on its thing. Anyway, he'll sort it out. <laughs> I can imagine what he said in the cab of the, tack, of the tractor. Anyway. These things happen, don't they? Okay, feeders are all in place. Even the one I dropped. It's got a dent in the side. It's annoying for him. Oh, okay, so I've come back out after lunch. It's just getting cold off. I have an extra jumper on. I don't know how to scarf. Bills are starting the truck up. We're going to go and get the auger and get sorted so we can feed the lambs.
apparently we had a little surprise last night. A ewe lamb, well she's now not a lamb, she's a ewe, had a lamb in the yard. So I'm just going to find her and I've got some pellets for her. Hello mum. Hi. You're okay. Oh, look at your baby. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to worry you. Yeah. I'm just going to give you some pellets. Just give you some pellets. It's okay. Ah, oh, good mum. You're good mum. You got beautiful baby. Yeah. Go on. Go and get your feed. Go and get your pellets. Go on. That's it. Subscribe and share our channel and we'll see you for the next